Urban farming is one way that some communities are creating an abundance of food for people in need by supporting and encouraging the establishment of gardens on unused land and space. Next, we visit an urban farm in Cleveland, Ohio, and learn how it's transforming the community. On the east side of Cleveland, on a site that was once an illegal dump, longtime friends Damian Forsh, Randall McShepard, and Kima Durton, the co-founders of Rid All Green Partnership, are growing tilapia, a popular mild whitefish. Damian Forsh and, and Kima Durton and I go way back. Uh, we all grew up together. This farm project kind of brought us all back together because we all saw what we could add uh, value and give something back. The beauty of the Riddall Urban Farm is that it makes good business sense and it makes good community sense. Farming was not something they imagined doing until one day opportunity came knocking when Will Allen, a pioneer in something called aquaponics, came to town and they were hooked. Aquaponics is an ecosystem that works hand in hand. The fish works with the plants and the plants work with the fish. We have pumps that pump water up to an upper level uh, in the fish tank where there's fresh uh, plants actually growing. And then we have water pumping down from those plants. So it becomes this interdependent cycle uh, that allows for the fish waste to be pumped up and it fertilizes the plants up top. And then the plants themselves provide nutrients that go back into the water to um, fortify or provide nutrients for the fish. Growing fish and vegetables is a way for Riddall to diversify the business. We knew that we had to come up with many different vehicles to uh, generate income. We couldn't just rely on growing produce and think that that would be enough to uh, create jobs, maintain jobs. We had to come up with other ways of uh, taking fresh food to market. We're making the great soil, we're growing great produce, we're, we're um, incorporating things like tilapia fish that you can't necessarily get anywhere in the Cleveland area. Riddall raises fish from fingerlings. As they grow bigger, they're moved from tank to tank, so they won't eat the smaller ones. Generally by eight to 10 months, most of them are, have reached full adulthood. So that's been uh, quite exciting to see. We've, uh, since inception, we've probably grown about 8,000 tilapia fish. Uh, I think right now we have about 5,000 in supply. We feed them a natural food pellet that's like fish meal and things like that, but most important, I put omega-3 in their system by feeding them duckweed, which is a, is a plant food that we grow here. Um, they eat lettuce, they eat like um, arugula, different green foods. So we feed them leafy foods and we feed them a natural food pellet that they is eating, which is fish meal and other ground up um, fish product foods. Plans are on the table to expand Riddle, creating more jobs, more healthy food options, and growing their outreach program. Our big dream has been to build a new, what we call a 21st century greenhouse directly across the street from uh, our farm. We have now um, uh, gathered the land, assembled the land in partnership with the city and the Burtonville Car Development Corporation. We'd like to build a six to eight thousand square foot uh, 21st century greenhouse we like to call it which is a greenhouse that will be comprised of classroom space to allow us to do a lot more of the education programs and training programs we would have a farmers market space where people can actually come and buy produce and fish and not have to chase people around the farm to find someone to, to make the transaction we think that there is a number of ways to uh, elongate or sustain an, an urban farm if you look at all the pivotal points that come with the farming business. So not only how do you grow it and sell it, but might there be ways to package it? Might there be ways to freeze it for later sale or, or later use? Might there be ways to partner with food distributors and uh, people that prepare food for institutions to uh, sort of have an ongoing working model where food is always being grown and always being processed and always being sp spun back out to communities and to institutions. And uh, that's where you really create the sustainability and, and create the lasting jobs. In the four years since Damien, Randy and Kima cleared the land and planted the seeds for their first aquaponic fish farm in Cleveland, they're proud to see their dream blossom into reality. Most satisfying of all is the opportunity these three friends have to spend time together again. It's been really uh, wonderful. 
when uh, you work with people that you grew up with and know from the old neighborhood because, you know, there's no issue of trust. Uh, there's no lack of confidence. Um, I know if they say they're going to do something, it's going to happen. I don't have oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. second guess or question. And uh, many of us have been in environments where we wish we could say that, right? So um, that really has been uh, the beauty. And uh, we, we all share a real passion for seeing Cleveland do better and, and giving back and making our neighborhoods better and, and giving people second chances and all those kinds of things, which we know the farm will help us to do. And this is the greatest thing on earth for me, really, to be back with them too, the people that I learned from and grew up with from kids. It's like, that's, it, this was, it was all worth it. The journey and where we at right now, it was all worth it. Because I get to be with them and bug them every day. <laughs>